Hey guys, it's Doug McGuff again with uh, Body by Science and the Ultimate Exercise and DrMcGuff.com. Had a recent question on the blog about our infometric bar that I made for $7 on how to do it. So I was going to demonstrate that right now. So come on down here. What this is, is a galvanized pipe or electrical conduit that uh, I purchased at Lowe's and it's a three quarter inch diameter, 30 inch long. It's threaded on either end. So what I did was I bought that, same thing, two small handles threaded on one end. And then it comes with the 90 degree connectors. And all of this is found in the electrical section of the hardware store. So you take the 90 degree connector and you just thread it onto the pipe on either end. Thread it on until it's nice and tight. And the same thing on the other side. The trick is you need to get them facing roughly in the same direction. I may be uh, regretting that I ever took this apart for you guys, but let's see if we can get it back together right. Here we go. Right there, so it's flat. And then you put together your two handles on either end. And once we get this together, what we do is we use this as an infometric device. And what infometrics does is it takes one side of your body and pits it against the other for resistance. And this can be used for several different movements, which I will demonstrate to you here. So we're all together now, there, and good to go. So, for instance, these are good for doing lateral raises and that is going to provide resistance in a pulling apart direction. So you do the resistance from one arm serves as the resistance against the other. So you start off and you can do lateral raises for deltoids. And generally the first rep you use about 50% effort. And then the second rep 75%. And starting about the third rep, you just go as hard as you can using a very slow, controlled cadence. But as you fatigue, you'll find that you may have to speed up a little bit to keep your range of motion and to keep the resistance on the muscle. But the fatigue that accumulates is very dramatic. But then you have to speed up like I'm doing now and eventually you'll even have to curtail your range of motion until you're just doing a static. And then you stop and it produces a very deep level of fatigue. But that was a demonstration doing a lateral raise. This can also be used as a bent fly for your rhomboids and your rear delts. It can be used as a chest fly as a pre-exhaust for doing your chest press. And this is squeezing the handles together to put resistance against your pectorals. This can be used as a bicep movement. You can put it up behind your head like this and you can contract one bicep against the other. Flip your hands in the opposite direction and you have a tricep movement. And instead of spending $4,500 or $5,000 on a lateral raise machine, you can get this $7 piece of equipment and get a depth of fatigue on those muscle groups without such a big investment. So that is how to put together and use your $7 infometric bar. Again, Doug McDuff, 
bodybyscience.net, Ultimate Exercise, and Dr. McGuff, drmcguff.com. Thanks.